It is so good being back in New York. I don't care what anyone says, there is nothing more beautiful than this city. Believe me, I've been in Los Angeles for a while. It's like an internment camp, you know? More pleasant than jail, but still really hard to escape from. <laughs> but now I'm back in New York and everything is right with the world. You want to take the bridge or the tunnel? Oh, God help me. Every time Arthur goes to the bathroom, he comes back with a story. You won't believe what just happened in the bathroom. Really? What? I'm standing at the urinal, and there's a guy in the stall, seated, <laughs> making noises like an ocean liner. And okay, congestion's rough, I understand. But still, this guy, he finishes up and comes out while I'm still there. I mean, he heard me come in. He knew I'd be done in a second. Hunker down for a while. <laughs> You know, I'll have my meals delivered to the stall before I emerge in front of other people. Oh, yeah. I mean, the area must be vacated before I exit. Oh, I lift my feet so no one can ID my shoes. <laughs> if you're going to use a stall, you got to bring a pencil. You know, so you can do a crossword until the room clears. I would have tossed the guy a pencil. Oh, here's the guy now. Oh, oh God, he's a client. Lauren! Hi, Gerald. This is Jennifer, Robbie. You've met Arthur. Yeah. Good to see you again. <laughs> so, Lauren, I'm due for a massage. Oh, gosh, I quit the business. Why? Carpal tunnel syndrome and tunnel vision. Where do you work now? In a tunnel. Huh, well, uh, see you. Boy, you have got to work on your lying. No good? Pathetic. I have a meeting soon with Chuck Van Straw. Who's Chuck Van Straw? He's the president of Order Up, you know, the company that bought my paper Jew idea. I, I gotta go. Bye. So long. You know, this sweater is just amazing. Oh, thanks. It cost me a fortune. Like what? Like 2000 2000 no, not 2,000. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hey. What can I get you guys? I'll have the sashimi. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll go ahi tuna salad. Uh, burger medium rare. Ooh, sorry, it has to be well done. Yeah, a kid got sick from a medium rare burger. His mother's suing us. What do you mean, sick? That's all I can say while the case is still in litigation. Can't you just make one medium rare for him? Not while the case is in litigation. Okay, what if I sign a release? Not while the case is in litigation. <laughs> you like saying that, don't you? Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> no medium rare? How can that be? It's sick. A medium rare hamburger is a cornerstone of human civilization. Any civilian knows this. Well, I've reached my limit. I've had it. Everything we were promised as children, lives full of sugar, sun, sex, booze, hookers, <laughs> Gas guzzlers, Cuban missiles, cold wars, hair, they've all been taken away. Uh, the, the medium rare hamburger is all we have left. If we could just find that woman who's pressing that suit. You think we could talk her out of her suit? It's possible. I will get right on it. Robbie! You know, Cabell, Dempsey, Weinstein, and Bert Friendly. Cabell? Robbie? Bert? Robbie. So, looking forward to another stellar year of paper joke. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait till you hear the sermon Rabbi Brock wrote. He's got a passage on that dream coat. It blew me away. Ah, uh, the dream coat. Love the dream coat. Dream coat pitch a classic. Uh, <laughs> that Rabbi Brock, he is brilliant. Smart? Competent? <laughs> Robbie, headline is, at the end of the day, there's been talk. Talk? Talk. What kind of talk? Office talk. Talk around the office. People around the office talking. <laughs> what are they saying? Look, the Jews around the office are crazy about Rabbi Brock. And the non-Jews? Less crazy. What are they saying? We want Paper Jew to appeal to a wider audience. Mainly 18 to 49-year-olds. Not to mention Christians. <laughs> I'm Christian, I love Rabbi Brock. That's sweet. 
But it would behoove us to do testing, you know, focus groups, bring in a cross-section of people, see how they feel about Rabbi Brock. And what if they don't like him? It would behoove us to dump him. D dump him? Dump him? How does that behoove anybody? That doesn't behoove. Ah, uh, Robbie, television evolves. Remember, two Darrens on Bewitch? Two Jans on the Birdie Bunch. No, 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 see, that was a rumor. People just got confused when she grew breasts. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> We're talking about a religious service. It, it's, it, this isn't the Brady Bunch. It's not even TV. Robbie, once it's on that screen, it's TV. Hey, how you doing? Hey, not bad. We're close till dinner. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, I saw you uh, clipping your nails yesterday. Sprinkled those trimmings all over the spinach salad like so many bako bits. That's not true. Well, it doesn't have to be true, does it? What do you want? Name and address of the kid suing over the medium rare burger. You spill it, I forget about the trimmings on the spinach salad. The kid's name is Wilkie. Troy Wilkie. Address? I don't know, I swear. We'll find out. Fax it to me by nightfall. Okay, I'll try. Don't try. Do it. Okay, I'll try. Okay, good. Good. See, Rabbi Brock was my inspiration. I mean, we sat together on my flight out here. It's a long flight coming out here. You're going against the jet stream. Good point. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Fax came for you. Oh! That's the address of the kid who's suing over the burger. Hey, beautiful, beautiful Arthur, you and me, we're gonna find this kid's mother, we're gonna muscle her till she drops her suit. I'll go with you. Yeah, me too. I'm down. All right, the address is 197-989-7341, Ramsey Street. Van Nuys, California. Whoa, hey, hey, whoa, whoa. what's wrong? Well, it, it, it's the valley. <laughs> so, you know, I could tolerate well done. Well done's tolerable. I have tolerance. I'm the museum of tolerance. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on here? Arthur, this woman lives in the San Fernando Valley. That's like venturing into the Forbidden Zone in Planet of the Apes. <laughs> Imagine yourself in a parched, desolate zone of L.A., so literally gorged with strip malls and noxious hydrocarbons permeating every corner of an area so oppressively déclassé, so negative chic, you'd think you're knee-deep in 1958. <laughs> I went to the valley once before I knew any better. I still wake up screaming. <laughs> I can't go back there again. I won't. Jen? I'm in the public eye. It's out of the question. In the words of Rabbi Brock's people, never again. <laughs> Well, I am sorry. I am sick of these frivolous lawsuits. A kid gets sick to his stomach? Well, suck it up, pal. <laughs> Getting sick to your stomach is what happens when you go out in public. That's what public means, getting sick, staying sick. <laughs> Some kid thinks he deserves a million bucks every time he pukes. What kind of future is this country going to have? I don't care. I will go to this valley alone. <laughs> Come on, Lauren, please. All right. I always know the weak link. <laughs> These are the people who are going to judge Rabbi Brock? They're all between 18 and 49. Very desirable demographics. <laughs> How did you get these people to show up? We pay them $12. <laughs> I'm going to put this on my resume. <laughs> all right, this is Ramsey Street. Turn down the radio. Why? Because when you get close, you turn down the radio. Why? You just do. All right, the odd numbers are on the right. 1979897335. There we go. This is it. Oh my god. I don't believe this. Oh, I know I can't breathe. The heat, it's like a punch in the face. Why did I let you twist my arm into coming here? I didn't twist your arm. You twisted my... All right. Let's not get overheated. How much water do we have? Eight bottles, 33 ounces each. Only drink it when you absolutely have to. So, I'm in the bathroom at Nordstrom's before, you know, in a stall. 
seated? I'm a woman. <laughs> of course. Anyway, so I did the whole New York Times crossword puzzle in there. Who brings a pencil into the stall? Hey, two burgers. Well done. Mm. You still have that address in the valley? I'll go load up the car with provisions. <laughs> Let us wish our friends and family a happy and healthy Rosh Hashanah. All right. Now I'm going to ask you some questions to get some reactions. When do we get our 12 bucks? Soon. Number one. Did you feel Rabbi Brach was too Jewish? Appropriately Jewish. Not Jewish enough. Appropriately Jewish. Too Jewish. No es bastante como judío. <laughs> Did you feel the rabbi's performance was too stiff, appropriately stiff, not stiff enough? Not stiff enough. Too stiff. Yes, so apropiado. Did the service make you feel uplifted, somewhat uplifted, not uplifted at all? Perdón, ¿alguien tiene un chapstick? So, I think they like him. of perverted animal eats a burger medium rare. I'm sorry. I am just not used to this heat, Mrs. Wilkie. Ah, oh, call me Beverly, but not Bev. My ex called me Bev. Oh, how long have you been divorced? What are you, his girlfriend? <laughs> no, just friends. Come on, you two aren't fornicating. <laughs> no, no fornicating. Really? <laughs> Do you like children? No. That's OK. Um, how, how can you prove that the burger caused Troy's discomfort? The burger was dripping blood. It got on his T-shirt. I saved the stained shirt as evidence. I gave it to my mother for safekeeping. <laughs> oh, do you feel that cross breeze? Yeah, it's nice. Refreshing. Can I use your restroom? Sure. Oh. Look, Beverly, don't you think this lawsuit is a little frivolous? I think it's very frivolous. But hey, I'm a single mother. I read in the paper where some woman made a million bucks because her coffee was too hot. And another guy got rich because he found a thumb in his can of beef stew. And I say, why not me? This one likes his burgers rare, doesn't he? Medium rare. He's pretty wild, huh? Medium wild. You know, I've never had one medium rare. Maybe you'd like to take me out for one tomorrow. Uh, does that mean you dropped the lawsuit? Possibly. Why don't you drive out here tomorrow and pick me up? Uh, oh, drive out here again? Nope, nope, can't drive tomorrow. He drives two days in a row, his foot swells. So gross. Come in. <sighs> How's it going? We were just leaving. Oh, good. See you back home. Nice meeting you. Dump Rabbi Brock? But the, but the man's got dignity. We feel we've gone as far as we can go with dignity. We want a name. A name? There are no name rabbis. Not a rabbi, Robbie. <laughs> rabbi Robbie, that's pretty funny. Rabbi Robbie. An actor. An actor? Like who? Bob Saget? Say, that's not bad. Saget? Yes. He's a Jew, but America loves him. Hey, hey, hey. This whole thing is my idea. Shouldn't I have just a little say? Say you say. What sort of say? What kind of say would you have if you had say? <laughs> Okay, I'll work with Rabbi Brock. You know, do, do, do a little image tweaking. All right, Robbie. You, you do your tweaking, and uh, we'll give Rabbi Brock another tryout as the rabbi. <laughs> so the rabbi's coming over here soon. You guys got to help me out. Why are you all so sluggish? 
We were in the valley yesterday, Robbie, the valley. It was brutal, just brutal. Brutal, you were there for two minutes. Arthur and I were there an hour. We did hard time. First time I came back from the valley, I thought I had Epstein Barr. Thank God I convinced Beverly to meet me in the cafe today. Ah, you are just lucky I came up with that lie about your feet. Lucky? That was your worst lie yet. It worked. It worked on a valley woman. I factored the valley into the lie. So the cafe is gonna make a medium rare burger for this valley woman? Of course, she might drop the suit. Rabbi? Robbie. Robbie Rabbi. <laughs> How funny is that? Boy, it is freezing in the city. It's 75 degrees. Do you think you could get me a sweater? Let's try the burger first. You are not going to believe what just happened in the bathroom. I'm in a stall, you know, seated, and what? This guy comes in to use the urinal. So I come out, and this guy with a goatee shoots me to dirty look like I should have stayed in the stall or something. Hi, here you go. And I couldn't swing a medium rare for you, so I brought you a nice spinach salmon. Okay, Beverly, dig in. Oh, that is a sexy burger. It's a sexy burger. She said a sexy burger. You see, Rabbi Brock, compromise is just one of those difficulties faced by our people. The Jews? No, entertainers. <laughs> now, now, I'm just thinking it couldn't hurt just to make you a, a tad, itty-bitty, less Hebraic. Well, did you make compromises? No, I kind of compromised my nose, which compromised my celebrity. You're Jennifer Grey, the actress? Look, I was born with a remote in my hand, so if you don't grab me in the first two seconds, it's flip, 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 back to face the nation. Well, so what, what changes would you suggest? Um... Well, I'd lose all that begat stuff. It's just super repetitive. Well, what else? Blowing that, um, what is it, a ram's horn? I just think the sax is so much cooler. Oh, I see. Oh, and that, um, don't steal, don't lie, don't cheat, don't kill, don't... I mean, where are you going with that? Um, does somebody have a sweater Beverly can borrow? Oh, here, for my sweater. Thank you. Oh, gee, this is beautiful. Guess how much it costs? Oh, it looks pretty pricey. 1995. Yeah, 1995. <laughs> to clean it. Uh, Robbie, we should leave soon. You're right. Let's go now. Hey, aren't you that TV rabbi? Well, yes, I am. It's nice to meet yeah, you. Gotta run. Uh, <laughs> How did you recognize the paper Jew rabbi? Well, about a year ago, when I was still married, my husband paid 25 bucks for pay-per-view wrestling. But when he turned on the TV, instead of getting Hulk Hogan, he got that rabbi. My husband got so furious, he went out drinking, met up with some floozy in a bar, and ran off with her. Oh. That paper Jew destroyed my marriage. <laughs> oh, hey, Robbie came up with the whole concept for paper Jew. Is that right? Actually, no, he didn't. Actually, he's just a file clerk. What does he file? Clerks. <laughs> and as we approach the coming year, let us not forget our past wrongdoings. But tonight, let us uh, party like it was 5759. <laughs> I mean, after all, it's like, you know, Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> Hey, there was a lead pencil in my spinach salad. It happens, you know? I mean, the chef writes things down with a lead pencil. Yes. The lead pencil drops into my spinach salad. I bite into the lead pencil. I scream. I spit the lead pencil out. There's blood. Possible lead poisoning, but, you know, no need to make a federal case out of it. What do you want? Unlimited burgers. All medium rare. You... 
Uzi. Mm-hmm, that's right. The headline is, at the end of the day, we're very happy with Paper Jew starring Rabbi Brock. I told you, at the end of the day, the headline would be that you're very happy with Rabbi Brock. <laughs> Lauren, what are you doing here? Robert Graham. Uh, Lauren, you know who I am. You're Robbie Graham. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've been served. <laughs> Sorry, Robbie. Beverly Wilkie is suing me for the breakup of her marriage? Oh, not just you. Talk man straw? There's no one here by that name. <laughs> Robbie told me TV execs were good liars. <laughs> You're pathetic. You don't get out to the valley much, do you? What? No, I, I, I love the valley. <laughs> Are you gonna be my new daddy? <laughs> oh, thank God.